This is the same building of the Edward C. Ford. All right, guys, welcome to the Winner Circle podcast with Jay. You know, this show, we unlock the secret of success and empower you to achieve greatness. I'm your host, Jay. And on today's episode, it's going to be all about success blueprint. Uh, whether you're an entrepreneur or career driven professional or you're just looking to level up in life. This episode will provide you with essential tools and strategy to create your own roadmap to success. So get ready to be inspired, motivated, and guided by my my beautiful guest. <laughs> um, yeah, right there. So let's dive in and take. Well, you hi, there? hi. Yes. All right, hi. Hi. Hello, guys. Hello. My name is Fritos, and um, I am a content creator, everything communication related. Mm-hmm. I create content for social media, different platforms, and I'm very versatile in you know, creating content. Everything social media related is right out my ally. And I'm excited to be here and have this conversation. Yeah, that's cool. Nice having you on the Thanks show today. Yeah. So, you know, like I, I watch a lot of your shows and it's beautiful so i was I, I was just going to start with just this quick quick question before we get in depth into the this the sussex um blueprint so right. um as a vlogger you know what inspired you to start sharing your life and experience on camera because it could be tough you know right um thinking back to like my earliest memory as to when i started like taking content creation like you know, just dabbling around, seeing the world of creating content was, I, don't, yeah. I just felt like I like the idea. First, I used to watch a lot of YouTube. Let's start there. So mm-hmm. I watched a lot of YouTube and I just kind of felt like I had that personality. Like it's something I could do. You know, when you're watching and it's like, oh, like I can do this too. Like this is so me. So that yeah. first sparked something in me where it's like, oh, I want to create content and stuff. And then two, I, the older I got, I just, at first it was fun. Honestly, it was just for fun, like filming my life, Mm -hmm. all of that. I was doing more lifestyle type of videos when I first started. And then the older I grew, like, I just kind of realized that I had a passion for like helping people and serving others and inspiring people. And so I started to like, you know, diversify my content and like incorporate more like motivational stuff, helping Mm -hmm. people. And as someone who's in her 20s, I know it could be really hard, like navigating as a female, being in your 20s, just a lot like to learn and understand. So I just felt like my life could be like a mirror for other people and just sharing my experiences, things I'm learning in my 20s and just encouraging people who are on that journey as well. So that's that's what started this entire stuff. That was a powerful journey. So now (laughs) talking about the journey. Yeah, talking about the journey. So like... um. How has vlogging itself played a role in your own personal and professional success? Um, for me, one, going back the journey definitely started from like, you know, um, what you can call it college. So I graduated with a communications degree. So having that in the background, having like job experiences, internships related to like social media marketing, I just felt like it was something that really aligned with who I am as a person. So I did it for work. And so outside of work too, like it was a passion of mine. And so, you know, it's just been a journey transferring skill set that I've learned from creating content for organizations to creating content about my own life as well. So It's been an interesting journey. Like, you know, I definitely enjoy filming my life, sharing my experiences and inspiring people. I think it's always nice when, you know, you just get that one message. It's like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for this video or this video did this to me. or I felt inspired by this video. And so every time I get that, you know, I'm just more inspired to create content that inspire people and motivate people. Wow. So, you know, one of the hardest things is um, content creation. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know you do it, um, a little bit of um travel, mm-hmm. also yeah. like you do some weekly vlogs too. That you right. you know talk about you know how you do your you know like I I know one of your um 
one of your episodes, you had like this solo date. You know, oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Research yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, it was, you know, I loved it. I love the the way you did your content, your you. your um, the way you just put the words together, you know. And um, I think you're very, you know, you know how to use the right word and how to what you know what to show and what not to show, which is very important. Right. Very important. So right. now another question I just want us to just talk about when we you're navigating towards the success uh, blueprint mm-hmm. yes. um what what the the success story the meaningful mm-hmm. success story you're trying to share from your vlog um you know what i think one thing that i'm very passionate about um when we started this conversation i did mention a reference like wanting to just help people who are in their 20s navigate in life because um i know for me there's a lot that i've had to learn like by myself or with life experiences and so i just wanted to just take it upon myself to like share my journey with people as well and especially people who are younger who there's a lot on the internet like there's a lot like on the internet bad good and so I'm just always hoping like my content get to the right people who might feel lost or feel like they don't know how to navigate twenties or whether be struggling with like career related stuff, life related stuff, or just twenties related stuff. Cause adulthood is really hard. So, you know, my thing here is to just always have that in mind when I create a video where it's like, just thinking about it was like, when this gets to someone, I wanted to encourage them to do better or be better. Like overall, I feel like my mission is to make people a better version of themselves every time. And I, I think, oh, go ahead. No, no, no. I just, I'm not, I'm just, I was just going to affirm what you said. Oh, but yeah. It's okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely always aspire to like help people see the good in themselves. Cause I think sometimes that's all you need. Just that one person to encourage you or like push you to get into the mm. next step. And that's always what I hope my video does to people every time. And that's so powerful. You know, and the truth is, people need to understand that you need to believe in yourself. You need to right. have what they call self love. So, mm. talking about self love, there's one of your um episode where you yeah. spoke about um you know reinventing my life with self love. So, right. I, I maybe I would really appreciate you know, I know some people really want to go to your right. um um your podcast to check mm-hmm. out your your show. So um, I just want you to talk about um, self-love, please. Self-love. Funny because I have another video coming up on self-love and like reinventing my life. So this is, it's nice that you're asking this question. One, I do think a lot of people lack self-love, not out of a place of, you know, like they just don't love themselves. I think some people are just naturally unaware to how much they don't love themselves. And that's, and I guess social media has caused more of that because you're on the internet, you're constantly comparing yourself to other people and you don't even see how much you're blessed on your end. And so I think it's very paramount for people to understand what self-love is. So you're, you have a stronger self-concept. I like to say that because I'm like, when you love yourself and you are so into who you are and the power you own, mm-hmm. like you're not too worried about what anybody else is whether that be on the left side, right side, in front of you, behind you, like you're just on your lane and you're focusing on that. And I just feel like it's so important for people to like genuinely like have self-love and like just know who they are and how blessed they are. I know, you know, we all have problems. We all have things. The fact is someone is always going to be doing better than you. And that's just what it is. But if you like have self-love, then you have a strong self-concept and you're not going to let the world tell you who you are, like, because you already know who you are. And so I think it's always important for me to preach to people to love themselves, because when you love yourself, it saves you a whole lot from like different things, whether that be being in bad romantic relationships, bad friendships, not feeling a lot, not feeling enough. Like, so I'm like, I just feel like self-love is the root to everything else. And it just intertwines and connects to everything else or every other relationship you have in your life. Man, that's 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 nice. I I like your view on that um, self love, you know. And um, in as much as you love yourself, mm-hmm. I believe also in purpose. You understand, like right. you have to find your purpose. And right. I also, like you know, this show. I one of the things that inspired this show is the fact that I went through. You know, I found your um your blog, 
and I, I listened to it from time to time and I loved it. I loved, you know, the way oh, wow. you, you, you work together and it's so perfect and all that. So and that's why I said, okay, when you come on this show, so um I know people are gonna go to your blog to go check it out. Um right. Um, you can tell them your 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 YouTube vlog page. Maybe they can check it out and probably follow and like and of see what you do there. I will definitely yeah. tag you. Um, you can follow me on YouTube, Fritos G, Instagram, Fritos G, TikTok, Fritos G. All right, all right. The the they'll show follow you and follow your journey to finding purpose. Right. So now let's talk about finding purpose. Because in okay. one of your vlogs, you talk about um, finding purpose. Right. Because for you to be successful, mm-hmm. you know, you have to find your purpose. Yep. So what, what do you think is a bane to people finding their purpose? Ooh, finding your purpose. You know the thing, if you asked me this question two years ago or a year ago, I would have said you find your purpose when you find experiences. So I used to mm. be rooted in the fact that, you know, just try different things. Because I think sometimes it's very overwhelming. What is my purpose? What am I here for? What am I meant to do? It's like sometimes you might not always have that answer because you just don't know. Some people are blessed, honestly, to know who they are and like, you know, what their purpose is. But for some people who have no idea, like I used to be the type who would say just experience life like do different things and like when you do different things you find out what you're passionate about what you're not passionate about for example when I was a kid um I thought I wanted to be a doctor and the older I grew and experienced life I'm like okay this is far from what I want to do like it has nothing to do with me and the more I grew up the more I understood myself I'm like okay I'm more of a communication person marketing person leaning towards more like inspiring people motivating people is where you know my purpose aligns but now where I'm at in life I understand that you find your purpose when you know God. And I just feel like for me, that's just the root of knowing what your purpose is. Cause like when you just follow God and you just lean on him, like, cause he created you for sure. So he yeah. already placed a purpose in your life. So when you follow God, like it opens your eye to where your purpose is. So that's definitely my advice for anyone who feels like they don't know what their purpose is in life. Number one, I definitely encourage like, you know, whatever faith it is, just finding or believing in something bigger than you. Because when you do that, it's easier to understand who you are, what you were put on this earth for. Because I feel like the more I pursue God, the more I understand that my purpose and passion in this world is to serve others, which is why, you know, I create the videos I create or I do what I do. And I always say this, like, regardless if I get money from it or not, like, it's something that I genuinely feel like I'm put on this earth to do. And I'll forever just follow that and it makes me happy and it makes me content. And, you know, that would be my advice to anyone who's currently in search of what their purpose is. I think your purpose is rooted in God's plan for you, for sure. All right. So, uh, I well, I agree with you because I know, like, um, you know, um, when you have, like, a product, mm-hmm. you know, when the product is manufactured by yeah. the manufacturer, there's right. always, uh, there's always a manual. So God mm-hmm. always have our own purpose. Like every, right. you know, every thing you have, like every appliances you have in the kitchen has mm-hmm. different purposes. You right. know, some is for air fryer, deep fryer. Mm-hmm. That, right. you know, they all have their own purposes. Right. You know, and it doesn't stop them from being better. You mm-hmm. know? So yeah. Just be better at your own specific area. Right, yeah. right. Know what exactly what you just said. Know what you're good at. And I think that's where yeah. some people get it wrong. Like everyone is trying to do what everyone is doing. And it, exactly. it doesn't work that way. It's like exactly. you, you're gifted in something. Like find your strength and your purpose and like what you're gifted in. Like some yes. people, maybe content creation is not your thing. Maybe you just know how to script better. Like you can yeah. be a script writer. Some people, maybe you just know how to edit better. Like you can still be part of the content creation world in a different area. Like it necessarily mm-hmm. doesn't have to you being in the forefront like some people it could be editing some people could be writing some people it could be scripting some people could be managing a project or something so figure out what your strength is and you know what you're good at and just follow that all the way and it'll open doors for you for sure yeah i agree with you but you know one of the major um reason why people never follow their purpose in life is fear of failure oh yeah oh my god (laughs) Fear of failure, you know, and even, yeah, fear of failure, people are always, they are very scared. I know, like, um, in one of your vlogs, too, you spoke about um, letting go of the fear of failure. 
Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a direct question. You know, you know, uh, it's a conversation, but I want to ask, like, so, like, how do you navigate and also overcome failure or setback on the path to success? How do you do that? It's really hard. And like you referenced, I made a video on this because I think this was something that used to drive me for a long time, like my fear of failing. It's like I was so scared to fail that if there was ever a chance, a 1% or 0% mm. chance that I could fail at something, I wouldn't even try at all. But like wow. what people don't understand is and what I've learned from my experiences and what I share to other people is when you're so scared to fail, you trap yourself from experiencing the goodness and blessings that are out there for you. Because mm -hmm. guess what? Like you are going to fail. Like, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Like there are times where you do things and you will fail at it, but you need to change your perception and mindset about what failure does for you. Failure doesn't stop you from going, going forward into like what you want or what you want from yourself. Failure just teaches you what to learn and what to do better. So when you fail at something, it's like, okay, instead of like, oh my gosh, I can never do this again. Think about it most like, okay, what did I learn from the situation? What can I do better? Or what shouldn't I do next time when I'm trying to pursue this? So failure just teaches you, like I say, what to do better or what not to do in the future. And the older I got, I had to reframe my mindset because, you know, sometimes we're scared for different reasons. Maybe you were scared to fail, like as a African child, obviously, from an African mm. background, I think there is this mindset where it's like, there's no room for failure. Like you just have to do good type of thing. And there's this pressure <laughs> naturally that's put yeah. on you from an African household. But yeah. regardless where you're from, it's just, you just have to understand that it's part of the process. It's part of the journey. And you cannot be scared to fail because like I said, failure teaches you and you learn a whole lot from the things you failed at. You have to look back on people who are like successful. And I think that's something I did for myself when I would like watch podcasts and listen to all the successful people. I'm like, okay, one thing they have is the fact that they don't let their failure stop them. Like they keep going and trying all over and all over again. And you really just got to have that self-belief in yourself and not let like, you know, failure mm -hmm. stop you from pursuing the goals that you have for yourself. And I think I would say, one thing you should think about also is the fact that instead of saying, oh my gosh, I'm scared to fail, like you don't want to leave a life of regret. And I think starting mm -hmm. to think about the fact that, you know, I don't ever want to look back and, you know, be sad about the fact that I didn't take chances on myself because I was scared. Because I just feel like regret is a worse, you know, it's just a worse feeling. It's not, it's not as good as compared to failing. Like failure, you can feel it in a minute in, right there and then. It's like, oh my gosh, I feel it. I feel bad. And you get over it. But regret, I think that's something that will live with you for a very long time. And there's so many opportunities out there. Like there's so many blessings to be tapped into and don't let one mm -hmm. failure or one no stop you from going out there to pursue so many, so many other things, a big opportunities. Yeah. You know, I'm a I'm a believer in failing forward. Like mm -hmm. you have to, yeah, you fail forward. So the more you fail, the more you learn. And you right. don't give up. You understand? Right. So I believe in like knowing like, okay, I feel this, I need to mm -hmm. learn more. You learn from the experience, you judge yourself and you move on. Right. So, and you know but, what's crazy? Yeah. So just to mm -hmm. put in there, I've also realized like the more I fail at things, the less scary mm -hmm. failure is for me. Like I get comfortable mm. with failure. It's like, okay, okay, this is done. What what do we do better next time? Mm. Or how do we move forward? So it's like in the beginning, it's really scary. I will say that. Mm. But the more you get comfortable with it, the more it's like you see more as a learning process as compared to mm. something that puts you down and stops you. Hmm. Well, that's good. So um another question I wanna just um, you know, throw it on the on the table, you know. Mm -hmm. We need um resources to be able to grow in daily life. And I'm sure you have a resource you read or something you watch or something so what are the resources that you watch or you read that keeps you you know let me say keep you going you know as a blogger as a business person as mm. an entrepreneur you know entrepreneur in, in the sense that you're you know you're in the the vlogging space and right. you know you do other things too you know so right. what what keeps you motivated because sometimes it could be stressful you understand so the more i'm sure there's a resource or maybe some book you yeah. can actually recommend to one or two people i just want you to take the field right i want yeah, you to say of course. <laughs> um number one i think um what keeps me motivated is the opposite of motivation which is discipline 
Like when you want things in your life, you really have to understand motivation is not always going to be there. And you really have to be disciplined. Like whether you feel like it, whether you don't feel like it, you have to show up for yourself because there's a bigger goal ahead of you. And discipline just gives you everything you want. Because in the moment, it might feel uncomfortable. But when you get it, you look back and it's like, damn, like all of this work was worth it. And um, some of the resources that I, you know, like use personally in my life when I just need a little boost of energy or boost of motivation for myself or to get myself back disciplined is podcasts. I highly, highly recommend, you know, platforms like yours, Jay, is something that I listen to to like, you know, help me out. Just listen to podcasters, (laughs) hearing people's stories and Mm -hmm. just when you listen to podcasts you gain a whole lot of knowledge you gain a whole lot of insight on things your mindset shifts a lot i think podcast is definitely something that has transformed my life like i will forever be grateful for like listening to podcasts like because you just hear stories from different people and you know oftentimes when you're on the media you see all the celebrities or like big people and it's like oh my gosh you feel like you're so not relatable right but when you listen to a podcast they're more relatable than you anticipate. Like it's it's sure. weird, sure. but like you listen to the podcast, like, oh my gosh, they were just like me. Like that mm-hmm. was just a mm-hmm. regular girl or a regular man or regular woman mm-hmm. who just didn't give up on her goals, like, and she made mm-hmm. it out. So like when you hear those stories, it makes it mm-hmm. possible for you. So it makes mm-hmm. you feel like, damn, like if this person can do it, like I can do I it can as do well. It. Yeah, so Mm -hmm. podcasts are definitely something that I encourage. I also highly recommend a book called Atomic Habits. That's Mm -hmm. such a good book. Like, it's just an amazing book that honestly transformed my life in terms of also getting on my discipline, achieving things that I want for myself, sticking to a routine, all of that. And another Mm -hmm. book that I would highly recommend is Defining Decades as well, especially if you're in your 20s. I think it's just an amazing book to read to, like, help you understand Mm -hmm. how to navigate, like, 20s and all of that. But podcast mm-hmm. books are like you know my resources that i always always encourage people to get into because it will definitely transform your life for sure all right that's that's good so now you talk about um resources you talk about you know your everyday habits like how you right. do it and so now resources is one thing you know mm-hmm. this is information you get into your body what about the everyday life because i know some of your pod, some of your vlogs they talk mm-hmm. about, I woke up in the morning, I got this done. <laughs> I don't feel like this the life that you think an average person needs to, if they can actually um, stand with, is going to help them boost their life, you know, probably career-wise you know, or right. probably business-wise or, you know, just like it's just a blueprint. You know, we're talking about blueprint to success mm-hmm. now. So yeah, to, I know. Bring you think, to the you know, topic. You would suggest, <laughs> or that you follow every day or, you know, <laughs> or you would suggest even if you don't have enough time, but you suggest for anybody that is really trying to build that business, um, sorry, success blueprint Fine. can actually follow and, you know, they're going to get the success. Well, so just uh, wanna... my success blueprint is definitely having a routine. I'm such a routine girl. Mm-hmm. I try to be up very early in the morning, whether that be around 5.30 to 6-ish wow. and mm-hmm. get my workout in as well. I just believe in like, you know, physically moving your body because it produces endomorphins, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, that mm. just gives you energy, all of that, and mm. working out, um, focusing on eating healthy. That too helps me a lot. Just trying to get my body as straight as possible because honestly, you can't do no work if your body's not functioning right. So mm-hmm. I highly recommend, like you know, taking care of your body as much as you can, having a routine, and this could be tailored to who you are as a person. For example. I, you know, have a job and, you know, I vlog and all of this, but if you're a routine, you're a late night person, maybe you have a, I don't know, a night shift type of job. Mm -hmm. I might not exactly expect you to wake up 5 a.m. in the morning or 6 a.m. because you're probably getting sleep. But when you wake up, what are you doing with your time? Like, how are you being productive? What's the routine you have in place? So regardless of what time or what job, because oftentimes I think people make excuses where it's like, oh my gosh, I have this, I have that. But I honestly think you make time for what's important for you. And if you have big goals that you really want to attain, like you going to sit with yourself and like make things happen. So I highly recommend, Mm -hmm. you know, having a routine, whether that be waking up a certain time, working out, um, having dedicated time where you read, having dedicated time where you, um, 
it could even be like connecting with people, networking. That's mm-hmm. something that I highly also recommend. Like I'm a big fan of like networking with people, talking to people, because one, when you network Ooh. with people, you just never know what opportunities they might have for you. And two, you just gain that relationship as well. I like to say this sometimes mm-hmm. where it's like, it's not always who, it's not always what you know. It's also who you know that can get you in the door to show what you know. So it's important to like network, mm-hmm. make relationships. There's so many resources out there, social media, LinkedIn, many platforms out there where you can connect with people, whether that be for your career, if you're in college right now or whatever point you are, you're trying to get into a field, LinkedIn is the place for you. Like you can literally connect with people who are in places where you want to be, develop those relationships and doors are just going to (laughs) open like crazy. And, you know, those are just my blueprints for things that I incorporate in my life. And don't forget, discipline is the forefront of everything because there are days I don't feel like it. There are days I'm human. There are days that I'm so unmotivated or I just don't have the energy to do anything. I just want to lay on my bed. But um, when I think about the things that I want to achieve in my life, you know, discipline just keeps me grounded every time. And Hmm. one more thing I would also encourage is having a strong why. I think one of the reasons why some people, you know, might not feel as disciplined or motivated to get things done is because they don't really have a reason as to why they're doing it for So I always encourage people to try to figure out what the why is. And the why has to be bigger than just money's good. It's nice. Obviously, it provides Mm -hmm. the luxuries of life. But when there's a bigger reason for what you're doing in life, like it keeps you grounded. Like my for sure is to serve others. And that keeps me grounded in everything I do, my career field, everything. Like I try to make sure I'm serving in one way or the other. And that allows Mm -hmm. me to show up always when I feel like it, when I don't feel like it. So and yeah, that's, that's that's nice, honestly. So so, but you said something. One part we talk about networking, and yeah. I'm just gonna put a point on that. So now okay. talking about networking, I know like networking, um, not only involves just meeting up pe- people. It could mm-hmm. be traveling, learning new things. Right. You know, mm-hmm. Like the networking is like a networking towards like you're meeting somebody from um probably Mexico and you know, the way they think is different. You're right. bringing your ideas and you're incorporating it in your own day-to-day life right here in the U.S. So now, what's what's the, because I see that you travel a lot. I know you've been to yeah. D.C., Ohio, you know, you've been to Mexico, you know, you've been, <laughs> you know, everywhere. <laughs> so so what, what's one thing that keeps you, um, that keeps you going? Like, oh, you know what? I really need to travel. I really need to be in this thing. I really, you know, some people are scared of traveling. Like, oh, okay, why, why do I want to travel? So is, <laughs> it, is there something this traveling does for you? Oh. You know, that, that that keeps you with you? For me, I travel a lot. I've been to over 48 countries. And wow, really? Yeah, I've been so to cool. a lot of countries, yeah. So, and for me, what it does is it just gives me that, that um rejuvenation. Whereby right, I feel right. New. When I come right. back, I'm right. feeling excited. You know, I'm feeling right. powerful. Yeah. I don't know if it does something. I just want to. I just want to do it. Almost the same thing you said, like that rejuvenation, like where it's just like I just feel like every time I travel, it's just an experience. And I like to say this to people, like when you travel, it's just something about it, a new culture, a new place. You're forced to do different things. For example, whether that be talking to people, whether that be communicating, and it just puts you outside of your comfort zone. You have to figure out your location. You have to communicate. You have, you just experience something or somewhere new. And for me, that every idea, every thought, like there'll be times when I'm traveling and I just have a random like YouTube video idea or Instagram video idea. And you know when, um, how I talked about my purpose being to serve, I actually figured that out when I was on a trip to Mexico. Like that, when I was wow. in Mexico, that was mm-hmm. where I was randomly just on the beach and I was just thinking, lost in thought. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, because mm-hmm. for so long, I was trying to figure out what is my why? Like, what is my mm-hmm. why? Like, why do I do everything? And right there and then, it just dawned on me where it's just like, I want to mm-hmm. serve people. Like, I really want to help people. Crazy. But I feel that every time I travel to a new location, like, there's just always something new that I learned, whether that be the experiences while engaging with people 
or just the culture itself. I'm such a big fan of like learning different cultures and like just being a part of that. And I'm in my 20s and I just honestly feel like this is a time for me to like really dive deep before I get married, have kids. So yeah, as of right now, like, you know, you learn a lot when you travel about yourself, about other people. It also expands your mindset. I think that's what I really love about traveling a lot a lot too, because it's like, damn, there's a whole world outside of my bubble. And like, you learn so much about that. So yeah, that's what traveling does for me, for sure. No, no, that's, that's well same thing that it does for me because it gives me that inspiration i i get to learn new things you know <laughs> no. a lot. yeah it's trust me what's right. been your favorite country i know you said you've been to quite the number well, my favorite country is in africa oh, really yes and it's uganda oh really wow <laughs> yes. Yes. So uganda is funny so enough funny. like i've been to many countries and i can tell you like I think I like the lifestyle in Uganda. Everything is, you know, there's just something unique about the country. I've been to Nairobi, oh, Kenya. Wow. I've been to a lot of European countries. I've been to a lot. And, you know, I've been to Dubai. You know, it has all the luxury of life, but it doesn't have the soul, you know, for me. It doesn't have that soul, you understand, that I want. You know, when you go to a country, you feel the soul. Even like uh, if you go to Mexico, even if they clo- close your eyes, you, for me, <laughs> that's how I still travel. But just smelling the, the atmosphere, you know that, Hmm, okay. I'm somewhere different. You know, there's there's this connection, you know, that your body yeah, feels like, you know. And for me it's Uganda, which is weird, but it's just Uganda. And it's a very nice country, you know, it has a you know, as the nice. nature, you can, you know, go to see the gorilla, you you know, um rather what's the name, the Kano on the river now, the source of the oh, Nile. Wow. Nice. Yes, so- it's quite a good country. We've been to Rwanda, been to quite a, a lot of East African countries and been to West African countries, been to European countries, I've been to a little bit of South America. That's I've so not really been to a lot of Asian and, <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so anyways, uh, and that's that's what I learned a lot. I've learned a lot. You know, I remember there was a time I went to um I went to what's the name of this place? I went to Rwanda during the AU summit. And there, right there, um um I learned I saw they had this bike alien. My motorbike alien service where you can you know hold a, a motorbike just like uber it comes to your place and picks you up you understand and i love the idea and i went back to nigeria and i spoke to a friend of mine who's a business person i'm like you know what i think we can actually do something like this i saw the idea and i was like no it's not gonna work in lagos nobody's gonna order a bike alien and guess what a few years after then maybe two three years after then they um, there's one company called Gokada. Gokada is quite popular. It became a unicorn, billion dollar oh, company wow. in Nigeria, Lagos. It was oh, making wow. a lot of money. So if you cool. have enough time, you can Google it. And I did not, I was so still inside <laughs> because somebody discovered me that it didn't work. Oh, I know. Oh, that just sparked you know, something. Feel like, you know, the, you know, like, the like, like, oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, and guess great. what? It did work in Lagos. It became one of the biggest brands, you know. And guess what? the the founder the owner is not even mm-hmm. nigerian he came all the way from new york city as a young wow. dude he was in his 20s or maybe early 30s and he went there invested and guess what he, he made a lot of money especially lagos being wow. the seventh largest economy in africa so what that means is never is another word on it that never give up when you have an idea work on it even when people say it's not possible <laughs> you know you have to work on it if you look at airbnb when it started people be like you mean yeah. I'm going to rent from my house? Yeah, it's so true. It doesn't make I, sense. Even the Turo I, model, there's what they call Turo, a car rental company. They said, okay, you mean I'm going to rent my car to somebody who I don't know, I'm going to give them the keys. You know, and the same thing happened to Uber. You mean I'm going, I'm going to drive my car and pick up a stranger? <laughs> yeah, Uber like to... So it became, and guess what? It became a billion dollar company. Right. So never ever... You know, yeah, listen to one or two advice, but try as much as possible. Mm-hmm. If you are aligned with it, try to give it a shot. It's better yeah. you, you feel for it than not feel at all and never get started. You understand? I you know, I one thing with, what you said right now in terms yeah. of like, when you just know something is for you, like you can't let people like discourage yeah. you. And I always say yeah. that. The older I'm getting now, I'm also understanding, like, you got to be very discerning to who you're sharing things to, because it's not everybody who, you know, have the same mindset or capacity to Mm -hmm. understand things that you want for yourself. And so it's like, 
sometimes you just gotta know where it's like if it's your vision and that's the thing it's your vision or nobody else can see it like yeah. even if i explain mm -hmm. a dream that somebody understands you don't see clearly what i see in my mm -hmm. head so it's like mm -hmm. you just got to trust the process and just stand mm -hmm. on it if you really believe in it it's very very important you need to stand on it no matter what it says so yeah. that's what i believe so that's one of the blue blueprint to success you need to just stand on whatever you believe in and you know i used to tell people that the if i'm going to ask you a question where do you think is the most um the richest place in the world the richest place in the world oh i don't know but if i was to take a random guess um i would hope like is it based of they have the potential to or they are already the potential to potential to maybe nigeria no. So really? the richest place in the world is a cemetery. Because what? a lot of dreams, multi billion dollar dreams, die, you know, just get buried right there oh, in the cemetery. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Dollar ideas right there laying down. Never, <laughs> ever. So deep. Because they were scared of they're going to fail. They died with it. Died with the idea, died with the gift, died with every right. idea. Like, are you, you know, now that you say that that is also low-key one of my driving factors in life like i always <laughs> say this to people i'm like my fear is not death my fear is dying with my purpose and not burdening it True. to life True. so True. it just reminded me of that where it's like you know it's more True. important for me to have served and like just fulfilled mm -hmm. my purpose as compared to letting me die True. with me and like never True. unraveling that gift to the world True. some people's purpose is to tap from your purpose. So that's right. why you are, you are right here on the on the podcast telling the world your ideas, you know, your your routine, this and that. And I would mm -hmm. really love to have you on the show over again because oh, we well, love to I would you know, love to, yeah, this is so nice. I would definitely <laughs> love to come back and talk. Yeah, definitely. Or... Yeah. So it's because really... we would, you know when you give those words out people mm -hmm. grab for me and another company is started there was a day i was talking to a client of mine because i do uh, business consulting and coaching and i was talking to a client of mine and we we're just talking and he said so i listened to your podcast where you said this and that i'm like whoop so you listen to my podcast i'm like oh, oh that's cool so, yeah, <laughs> it encouraged me more to right. keep, you know putting my words in bringing in people like fantastic people like you on the show to come and share more of your ideas because people are listening and they really you know, we are on all platforms, all podcast pa platforms from um, Apple Podcasts to Spotify to Audible to YouTube to almost every every podcast, you know, even higher radio, you know, it's, we wow. always we put our stuff on there. So, so there's somebody listening somewhere, you mm -hmm. know, we have, you know, stable people that follow us already and there's some people right. that want to learn more and some people that are just going right. to, because we, we just, we just inspire the person. You know, mm -hmm. just inside our yeah. lady. Yeah, that is the best time. I, I you know, definitely you know, agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Where it's just like, it's just that one person. Because I know how many times when maybe I was having a bad day and I go on the internet mm. and a motivational video comes up and that just like literally mm. inspired me. That True. person is probably on the other part of this world, but don't know like their video sparked something in me True. to do something True. in my life. And same for me too, where it's like, my video sparked something in someone. I remember one time randomly, someone just sent me a voice note and she was just talking about how, you know, she was having a down day and my video mm. came across her page and it wow. literally inspired her to like get her things together, mm. like get productive, mm. work out and like do things mm. for herself. And I'm like, wow, like crazy. Like my video made you mm. do that. And it just, you know, made me feel good where it's like, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You don't know who you're talking to or helping out there and like, that's just yeah. the most important thing for me. All right. So before we go, one last question. Okay. So what tip can you give aspiring um, vloggers uh, who want to create a, a, a successful brand or mm -hmm. they want to create a brand whereby they engage with their audience? Like what right. tips are you going to give them? One, I would say um, figure out what you want to do. Um, tailor mm -hmm. it to your strength for sure. So whether that be... Um, Maybe you like fashion or maybe you like lifestyle or maybe you're like me and you like inspiring videos or all of that. Like I'm like almost everything like lifestyle, fashion, uh, motivational, depending who you are, like know who you are, like be authentic, like who are you at the core? And once you understand that, understand 
what you want to serve to the world. So if your thing is maybe motivational and you know how to speak, you know how to communicate, you know how to share your ideas to people, like stand on that and like be able to be authentic when you're sharing it. The, there is no two, um, I don't know if it's a Nigerian thing where they say there's no carbon copy of someone. Like you wow, have to be. Word, <laughs> yeah, this body you knows worldwide. Anyway, oh, I don't, that's, I don't know if it's just a Nigerian yeah. thing where it's just like, you know, be original as to who you are and show up as that because you cannot be a fake of somebody else because that'll be mm. in who you are. So know what you want to produce or give to the world, your talent, your gifts, what you're good at, and share that with the world as well. And definitely consistency. You really have to be consistent because with social media, it's like, you might not see the growth for years, a long time, but you really, if you believe in it, you just have to dog it out and like continue showing up. And when you're showing up, try, like avoid this thinking about the numbers and think about the purpose and why. Like make sure when you put out a video, it's, and it could be hard because, you know, you see numbers and it's like, oh my gosh, maybe my video is not doing well. But one time I heard someone say this, if you put out a video or if you open a store and 200 people showed up, you'd be happy. But if it was on the internet and you put out a video and 200 views, you'll be sad. It's like, oh my gosh, it's just 200 views. But don't look at it as views, look at it as people because those views are people. So 200 people is crazy. Imagine being on a stage and talking to 200 people. So think about it like that, like you're sharing your content to people and not just a number for the algorithm and just stay authentic to who you are and stand on that, be confident. There will be naysayers. There will be people who might try to discourage you, but you know, don't listen to them. Just know what you're doing it for, and just focus on that. All right, all right, that's powerful. And thank you so much uh, for all you the too. tips and bits. Yeah. And I would love to have you on the show or uh, again to discuss more uh, oh, for sorry. aspiring yeah. um, um, women that really want to achieve a lot, and a lot of people that really want to achieve in their career and be successful right. and also want to build their life, their day-to-day -day life towards a successful um, business, um, career, you know, right. whatever way it is. So thank you so much for coming and uh, we appreciate and I appreciate. Thank and you. Do you have so any last words or last quote before oh. we do that? Last words, you were destined for great things. Um, regardless for your circumstance or regardless where you're at in life right now, just know there's someone out there waiting for you to share that content because you don't know how you might inspire them with your words or your video. And just keep living life, being happy, being at peace. And just, yeah, I think those are my words. Like, be authentic to you and just know who you are. Self-love. Don't forget the things I talked about, discipline, creating a routine, habits, all of that stuff. Everything compounds over time. Um, I think I'll definitely sum it up with this, where it's like the 1% you do each day compound into a bigger thing for you. So if you have big milestones, don't overwhelm yourself with just wanting to achieve it one time. Just take one step at a time, be those habits one step at a time. And when you add it up, it sums up to a big goal that you over time achieve and yeah those are my last words for y'all all right thank you so much thank you I'm, so much Dave, for having me this was a nice conversation i definitely had a great time like talking and sharing right. my thoughts to your audience all right. all right and that's a wrap for another empowering episode of the winner's circle um i hope you enjoyed the our the deep dive into success blueprint and i'm hoping that you've gained insight from our beautiful guests and um, I want you to remember, success is not a destination, but a journey. Right. And it's all about the small steps and consistent actions that lead into a extraordinary right. result. So just apply the, all the strategies that have been shared today and just make a little bit of mindset shift, you know, from what you've learned today. And I'm sure you will see how your life will transform in a twinkle of an eye. So don't forget to subscribe, um, rate, review the podcast. And as it's as you already know, I'll see you next time. Keep pushing forward and always aim for the winner's circle. Have a nice day, guys. This is the simple thing of the year to look for. Yeah, it
Spiritual.